afternoon. Today we're going to talk about ANOVAs and hopefully I'm going to be able to explain the basic concept of ANOVAs to you in just a few slides. Let's see how this goes. So ANOVAs, which stand for Analysis of Variance, look to see the variation between groups and the variation within groups. So they're going to see how much the group means differ from each other. And what we mean by that is, is the difference more than we're expecting? And we're also going to see how much the variation is within each group. So the, the spread of data in each group. Now remember, when we're doing an ANOVA, you want to have a dependent variable that's continuous and an independent variable that is categorical. And the independent variable typically has three or more groups or levels. Ultimately, we're seeking to find out if difference between the group means is more than expected from the data of the spread of the individual groups. If that's the case, then our ANOVA would be significant, meaning there are significant differences in the groups. So what is the math behind the ANOVA? Well, our F test is going to look at both the variation between and the variation within. And F itself is a ratio because we're going to take the variation between, which is how much the means are differ, differ and we're going to divide that by the variation within which is how much variation is in each group. If it's significant, the ratio is large. So F is typically is going to be much lar larger than 1. This will give us typically a P that is smaller than our alpha level or a P that is less than 0.05 if our alpha level is 0.05. When we're thinking of an ANOVA, a couple of things that we should know is the terminology for group mean. So a group mean. Now this is the average score of each group. So this is a group mean, this is a group mean, and this is a group mean. Right here down the center. And our within group variance is how much the scores within each group vary around that group's mean. So the within group variance is this spread that's happening within each of them. So if we were to have a numbers along the bottom here, it would actually be down here, we can see that this mean is very different than this mean and very different from this mean. This mean is a little closer to this mean. But we can see the spread on these three seem to look pretty similar. We want to assume that the spread is the same for all of the groups, and that's why we test for homogeneity of variance. The grand mean is the mean of all of the data. So this would be the average of all of the data combined. So we have our our mean for this group, the red group, we have our mean for the green group, and we have our mean for the blue group. But this would be, this dotted line here would be the grand mean, and this is the spread for all of the groups combined. And this is when we see the between, between groups variance. It's how much the group means vary around the grand mean. So how, how far away how much variance does each group have from the grand mean? This is our between groups variance. Let's use an example to look at some of this. Let's just say that we had three different cupcake recipes and we baked one dozen, cupcake res one dozen cupcakes using each recipe. The cupcakes on any one of the pans are all a bit different from each other. So recipe A, pan A with the 12, the 12 cupcakes on pan A, those 12 cupcakes are going to vary from each other. That's going to be our within variance. We also have the average cupcake on one pan differs from the average cupcake on another pan. So the 12 cupcakes on pan A are going to be slightly different than the 12 cupcakes on pan B. 
which would also be slightly different than the cupcakes on pan C. So the difference from pan A to pan B to pan C, that's our variation between. These are the two things that an ANOVA looks at. It takes the variation between, or the variance between, and divides it by the variance within. The result of that is our F statistic. If our F statistic is significant, we know that there's a difference somewhere. So when our F statistic is significant, we want to run more tests to find out where the difference exists. A significant F statistic is going to tell us that there's a difference somewhere between the groups, but we just won't know which groups are significantly different from which groups. So we're going to run our post hoc, whether it be a Tukey post hoc or a Sheffy post hoc or von Ferrani, it's going to tell us if there's a difference between group A and group B, or group B and group C, or group A and group C. Before running a post hoc, we don't know. Our F statistic will just say that there is a difference. Our post hoc is going to run comparisons between the groups so that we can find out which two are significantly different from each other. And that is my quick summary of an ANOVA. I'm hoping this helped. I think I'm probably on my way to go out and now get a cupcake. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.